Hi, this is Tony Byrne from the Resource Corp, and I'm here with Tony Hosking. Hi, everyone. Also from the Resource Corp. Today we're talking about multi-core cable. So the TRC difference, uh, what the Resource Corp Corporation do that's different with these items is that we can sell you the individual components uh, for your multi-core and the individual cable, uh, but also we match, manufacture the whole thing. So, um, Tony, I guess that gives us uh, more experience in terms of how this stuff's really being used. We're not we're not just supplying bits and pieces. Yes, that would be correct. So uh, we have many clients around Australia that uh, ask us to custom build something for them. They send us a list of their requirements. We uh, match the appropriate component out of the range that we have. Uh, we can send them a, a drawing and the information and cost and then they will just ask us to build it. Uh, they have usually found, find that to be more cost effective for them in terms of time and dollars and of course at the end of the day again we have to guarantee it so it has to work. Uh, it's just part of the list of components that we have that as you said are available as individual items that you can order even from something as simple as a 1RU panel that might be just plain or punched for a various number of the XLR connectors all the way to stage boxes all the way to rack panels, all the way to full uh, multi-core systems with splits. Okay, so and the point there being that we are with them every step of the way because we're using these connectors all the time, we're, we're doing pin assembly all the time, we're not just selling people stuff and saying oh well you get on with it, we actually know what's involved and we have the runs on the board. Um, yes, it's something we've developed over time. Uh, Link and Eurocable uh, in Europe themselves have done this for quite a number of years, so we are taking some of their expertise on board with us and making the appropriate changes that suits the market here. Um, anybody who has a particular issue or question uh, only need to give us a call and we'll be happy to walk them through either the system or assembly of the whole cable. All right. And also, you made a point earlier on that uh, we provide drawings for people, so when someone's um, commissioning a cable design, uh, you give them a very detailed uh, drawing that gives them every aspect of the design so they can sign off on it or tell us whatever uh, adjustments they need to make? Yes, as always a picture is worth a thousand words and uh, many times uh, we might get a long lengthy email or a letter of fax and uh, then we'll just reduce that down to our interpretation of what they're trying to ask for we will then send that drawing back for their clarification and it's surprising the number of times that we might have them have a phone conversation and we all think we understand the same thing but when we actually produce a drawing of what they've described they suddenly see errors in what they've requested or between the two of us where we identify a misinterpretation of what has been asked for. And, and it often seems to be the case that there really is no such thing as a standard multi-core, they're all different, aren't they? They're all different, which is why we just make to order, because everybody wants something that's either different length, different number of channels, different connectors, uh, different applications. So Tony, clearly this uh, this isn't the cheapest stuff on the market, uh, why, why should someone spend the extra to, to go to this level? What, what's, the, what's the benefit? Well the benefit is that of course it uh, lasts a lot longer and I'm sure everyone has had the experience whereby it's been an important gig they're playing at or that it's an important gig that they're doing the live sound production for and the last thing you need is for something to go wrong and inevitably it'll be the important one that something goes wrong. And in terms of expense, this is a small expense when you've got thousands of dollars on each end of that cable to do the, to give the performance production that you are aiming for to impress people. To have something that is cheap and unreliable in the middle, I think, is a false economy. 